Hey everyone, here's a question. Find two equivalent ratios of 6 is to 15. We have to find out the equivalent ratios here. It's same like finding out the equivalent fractions or uh, the equivalent, yeah, equivalent fractions we can say. So we all know that ratios can be written in a fractional form. So first we're going to do that. We have 6 by 6 is to 15 and this can be written as 6 by 15. Ratios can be converted into a fraction, so 6 by 15 we got. Now how to find out this equivalent ratios? So there are two ways. One is by dividing it with a common factor and one is multiplying. When you multiply, you can multiply with any number. But when you're dividing this number in the numerator and denominator, you have to do it with a common factor. So you have learned what are common factors. Common factors means a number which can divide this both. For example, uh, I'm gonna, you can see that I can cancel this number by 3 table, right? So 3 is a common factor here which can cancel 6 and 15. So here the first equivalent fraction will be, so I have 6 by 15. I'm going to divide this both numerator and denominator by 3. Okay, because I can cancel this in 3 table. Both numbers should be divisible. So this will become 2 by 5. So we can say that 2 by 5 is an equivalent fraction of 6 by 15. But we know that fractions can be again converted into ratios. So this is equal to 2 is to 15. Yes. So 2 is to 15 is a equivalent ratio of 6 is to 15. So let me write down here. Therefore, 2 is to 15 is equivalent ratio of 6 is to 15. Now this is one way that is dividing. So if, but when you're dividing it, you're going to get uh, like few numbers because you should have a common factor so that number is divisible. But second one is multiplying. So when you're multiplying here in the numerator denominator, you can multiply with any number. Here we have 6 by 15. I'm going to multiply here with 2. You can multiply with 10, 100, thousand anything it's completely on you you're gonna get the answer so here I'm gonna multiply with 2 in the numerator and in the denominator so this is equal to 12 by 30 so 12 by 30 is a equivalent fraction of 6 by 15 but if I convert back this into a ratio this will be 12 is to 30 okay so 12 is to 30 is equivalent ratio of 6 is to 15. So like I said, if I multiply this with 10, I'll get 60 by 150. So 60 by 150 will become equivalent to 16 by 15, like that. So your answer may not match with your teacher's answer or my answer, your friend's answer when you're multiplying it. But when dividing it, make sure that you cannot divide with any number. You have to divide with common factor, a number which can divide both numerator and denominator, only that. But when I feel like multiplication is much easier because you can just take any number and multiply and you'll get it. So when you're finding out the equal ratios it's not necessary that you should go with division it's not compulsory I just showed you how to do with division also but if you're doing an exam it's better to go for multiplication because it's easy to multiply and get the answer easily I hope this question is clear in case you have further questions or doubt you can drop a comment thank you so much for watching